I just wanted to hop on here and kind of talk to you guys a little bit about um, something that stood out to me this week that I know as a coach, um, but you may not know to focus on these things um, when you're going through your own journey. And so I just wanted to get on here, get a little bit vulnerable, and talk to you guys about how my cutting is going so far. Um, you know, I've been adjusting my own macros for a while now, and um, I started this cut after a really long reverse process. Um, my body just wasn't responding how it has in the past when I cut, and so I went through the whole reverse process, and um, now I've been cutting again, and I was really excited about that and kind of anticipating a quick response, and I... Sh I should know better, you know, I should know that that's not always the case. And so, um, I just kind of wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about that. I've been cutting now for a while. The summer was kind of, I was, I was pretty good for the most part, but there were definitely moments where things weren't as strict as I would like them to be. I've been really good with my eating for the last two months, but, um, I haven't really been seeing the progress that I had hoped. And that's why I want to get on here and talk to you guys because there are non-scale victories and the scale really um, can be frustrating. It is frustrating. And especially if you're putting all of your focus on that, you can feel like you're losing um, a battle that just a never ending battle, honestly. And so for me, the last probably month, the last month, Katie and I have been traveling a lot for work and been, we've been going to different conferences. And so my normal eating times, you know, haven't been happening. Those have been out of um, my normal routine. Um, the foods that I typically eat have been a little bit different. My workout routines haven't been as structured as they have in the past just because of the traveling. But our eating stayed pretty consistent and we did the best we could while we were traveling and I felt like that was a victory in itself. I didn't just say, like throw up my hands and say, forget it, I'm not gonna even bother while I'm on these trips. Um, I definitely made a conscious effort to do the best I could while on those trips. But now that I've been home and really able to have full control over what I'm eating and back in the gym, I was expecting to see kind of, um, I don't know, bigger progress on the scale. I mean, let's just be honest. And also feeling better within my clothes and um, how they fit because I know that the scale isn't the main focus, but I was hoping that I would start to feel better in the clothes I'm wearing also. And so um, I just kind of wanted to get on here because I know a lot of you can get frustrated with the scale also if it's not changing um, and you feel like you're doing everything right. And for me, in those moments, like these last few weeks, I can... You know, it's up to me how I perceive it. I can either be really upset that the scale hasn't changed, that I'm not seeing any change in my measurements, and I can let that dictate dictate my day and really put a negative um, spin on my entire week, or I can say, you know what, so what, screw the scale. I know I've been hitting my numbers. I know that I've been eating really well and um, focusing on healthy, nutrient-dense foods as much as possible. I know that I've been sleeping good. I know that I've been in the gym. And I know that that progress is going to happen eventually. I just got to hold up my end of the deal and make sure that I'm doing the things I need to be doing in order to get there. Good health goes hand in hand with how we physically look and physically feel. So if you're focusing on you know, that checklist of things. If you're hitting your water, if you're filling your foods with healthy options, if you're being active, if um, you're sleeping really well and you have that routine set up, if you are watching all of those things, if you're keeping refined sugars out of your diet and processed foods out of your diet, your physical stats and how you physically feel is going to fall into place. They go hand in hand. It has to happen. So on those weeks where, you know, the scale just isn't reflecting um, how you want it to, first, look over. First, make sure that you're hitting your targets. Um, you know, Katie and I set a goal of either plus or minus five grams on your protein and your carbohydrates and a goal of staying within plus or two plus or minus two grams on your fats. Okay, so start there. 
and try to get those targets in as close as possible. Now, if you're hitting those targets and you're still not seeing progress, then next we're gonna look at your food quality. Flexible eating is awesome because you can fit the treats that you want into your macros and that's what keeps it sustainable long term, that you can have those treats. If I want an ice cream cone, I can have one. But if you're you know, taking that to the extreme and filling your macros with um, processed foods and a lot of just crap, your body is going to represent what you're eating. And so, yeah, it might fit your macros, and yeah, you're in with, within those um, ratios, but if you're eating deep fried stuff all day long and not eating anything that has any kind of nutritional value to it, eh, your, your progress is probably gonna be real slow. You are losing the weight, you're not gonna feel good. So next, once you know that your targets are in check and your food quality is in check, then start seeing what are you doing from day to day in terms of activity level. Have you been in the gym? If you don't like going to the gym, have you been pretty sedentary? Are you walking around the house at all? Are you going outside for walks? Um, what is your activity level like? Are you sitting a lot? If you're pretty sedentary throughout your day, okay, let's be real. Overall health has a lot to do with our activity. So. If you're being sedentary, that's probably a good reason why you're not seeing that progress. Yes, Katie and I can set up your numbers to reflect your activity, but in, we're looking at overall lifestyle changes. You know, we're not telling you this is a quick fix diet and then you can go back to doing whatever you're doing before. We want to create um, new healthy habits that you are going to carry on forever, and that includes increasing your activity level, even if it's just starting small and doing a 15 minute walk every day. If stress levels are low, if you're taking care of your self care and you're focusing on the things that you need to focus on to make sure stress levels stay low, that's another great um, measure of progress. And if you're doing that, you know you're moving in the right direction. So for me, this last month, I have not seen any scale victories. My clothes aren't fitting better. I'm not where I want to be. And there is a moment in time where my mind is like, okay, what the heck, this kind of sucks. I remember, no, I'm eating good foods, I'm doing everything I should be doing, and I know that it's going to happen, and I feel really freaking confident in that, and I feel really empowered in that, that I'm doing the necessary things I need to do for my overall health, and I know that that progress will catch up. I know that it's easier said than done and that's why we always want you guys to feel like you can reach out to us anytime that you're feeling any type of way. I, I always make it a priority to tell anyone I'm working with, please tell me how you're feeling um, because it's so easy to get caught up in the number on the scale and to feel really frustrated by that and that's, we want you to come to us and tell us if you're feeling that way because then we can talk you through this. You know, as coaches we have years of experience behind us and we know that um, the scale is stupid, but it's we're human. It's still easy to get wrapped up in that, and so I always want anyone I'm working with to come to me. And if you're not a client of ours, and you feel like you're stuck in a rut and you don't know what to do, or you're feeling down about um, the progress you've made so far, reach out to us. Message us anytime. Leave a comment on here. We're happy to chat. You know, we don't just do this. Um, for the before and afters with all of our clients. We do this to actually really build those relationships with all of you and help you along in your journey because everyone's journey is so different. So I guess that about wraps it up. Um, just to summarize, <laughs> I've been really freaking consistent um, these last, you know, four to six weeks. And before that, I was pretty consistent. And in my standards, I'm just OCD. So I know um, when things are really on point and when they're, you know, a little bit loose. But that's just the name of the game when you have other things going on. And Katie and I have been traveling so much. Um, but I will be giving a body update um, on our Instagram probably within the next week or two because I wanna show you guys full transparency. Um, and I'm proud of the body I have right now because I'm doing everything I can um, to be as healthy as possible. And so whatever that stupid number on the scale says, F the scale, it doesn't matter because I know that I'm holding, doing everything that I should be doing. Of course, if you guys have anything to say about this video or have any questions or comments or just want to chat, leave a comment below and make sure you guys subscribe to our channel so you don't miss this and other future videos that we have coming. Thanks for watching. Bye.